and I will try the group comes late in the later chapter, but um, here's the container anyway. We have x1, xn, which are independent, distributed as normal new sigma squared. We know what the sum mean is. The sum divided by n. Now, I divide, I define s bar square to be slightly different from the s square that I defined earlier. Then, 1 over n, sum 1n, xi minus x bar square. That answers your question. Why we do this? In practice, we may assume reasonably well that the random VMSI are independent, okay, and normally distributed in certain instances with this parameter. Typically, the parameters will be unknown, and that is where statistics is under the big side. We have got to estimate those parameters. A usual estimate for the parameter U is X bar, something that we know. What about uh, sigma squared? A usual estimate is this, sum variance. If it were new there, the way it were there, it would be useful. Could not use it, because there is an unknown quantity there. Well, you replace that unknown quantity by something that you know. All right. Now, uh, the peculiar thing which happened in the problem. What is x bar? function of the axis divided by n. What is this here? It is the function of the axis, and in addition, includes x bar itself. So you get here something which includes this. The peculiar result is that these random variables are independent. Although we mix them up here, what we get are two random variables are independent. And that is true other normality. If the underlying distribution is not normal, this independence need not be true. Right? Now, what I'm driving at is the following. Do you remember? Let me go back to that to this. xi minus mu square, and then we send ns square over sigma square, is chi square with uh, n degrees of freedom. That is what I said earlier. Question. I know the distribution of this. Can I say anything about the distribution of this? Yeah, the answer is yes. And I'll give you a hint as to how we arrive at that answer, and that is the part we which, is, which will be justified or will not actually. It is justified later on in uh, the next chapter. S bar square and sigma square is itself chi square and distributed, but what do you think the case of freedom ought to be? We replaced new by something. We have got to pay for it. N minus one? Yeah, N minus one. So it is the same distribution, chi square that is as this. Only the case of reason was the minimum one, because we replace intuitively. If you do something less up, you can pay something. We pay one degree of freedom. What is the justification of it? If you can look at the sum, from one to n, xi minus mu square, this you can really write as follows. xi minus x bar plus x bar minus mu the whole mu square, and it subtract x bar. Now, square out and sum up. What do you get? 1n, xi minus x bar <coughs> plus the sum of this, which is n times x bar minus mu square, plus twice 
the product. This is a constant, comes outside. And the sum of this is equal to zero. The sum of this is n times that. So that's what you get. And that is, uh, if you multiply it by n, all three, all sides, uh, then you get s square right here. Uh, sorry, yeah. If you divide by n, sorry, if you divide by n, you get s square. If you multiply by n, you get rid of the denominator and you get this one here. Sigma square is equal to one. It is this thing here. S bar square multiplied by n sigma square. 